कंसिडर द फंक्शन फ्रॉम एन टू एन फ्रॉम नेचुरल नंबर टू नेचुरल नंबर कंसिडर द फंक्शन दैट गिव द नंबर ऑफ हैंड सेक्स दैट टेक प्लेस इन अ रूम ऑफ एन पीपल assuming everyone sex hands with everyone else so this is the point this function is basically telling you how many hand sex are there in a room of n people if everyone sex hands with everyone else give a recursive definition of this function first you understand this function first you understand this function this function is from n to n this is your n this is your n now we are saying that what this function is telling you please tell me like for example if you take a value like if you take a value 5 then what f5 will tell you what this f5 will tell you tell me it will tell you how many hand sex are there if five people shake hands with each other please read this question this function gives the number of hand sex this function gives this function gives this function outputs please read this this function outputs the number of hand sex that take place in a room of n people in a room of five people in a room of five people assuming everyone sex hands with everyone else so please understand this function gives the output of this function will be the output of this function will be number of hand sex for this function the output will be number of hand sex in a room of n people i am taking n equal to 5 so in a room of five people assuming every person sex hands with everyone else so you tell me what f5 will tell you this f5 is basically the number of hand sex the number of hand sex in a room of in a room of five people okay where everyone sex hands with everyone else where ev okay every two people shake hand okay where every two people are shaking hand where every two people shaking hand shake hand so this is f5 is this point clear so this will be the f5 means f5 the output this function will give you number of hand shakes this function is going to give you number of hand shakes in a room in a room in which you have five people so tell me in a room if you have only one person how many hand sex are possible if you have only one person if you have only one person in a room if you have only one person then zero hand sex is possible remember here hand sex with everyone else you cannot hand sex with uh, with yourself okay you cannot hand sex with yourself the question is saying everyone else you cannot hand sex with yourself don't do that that is weird people will think that you are maybe mad or something you are crazy so anyway so you can see with everyone else now you tell me so if you have only one person how many hand sex will be there there will be zero if you have two people how many hand sex will be there if you have two people if you have two people only one hand sex will be there if you have two people only one hand sex will be there if you have three people how many hand sex will be there if you have three people there will be three hand sex if you have four people think about it how many hand sex will be there think about it i will tell you the answer but think about it there will be total six hand sex okay anyway we will see what is happening here see very easy thing is happening you tell me simple point very simple point you tell me this function we have here i am saying number of people like 1 2 3 4 5 n n plus 1 and so on okay so you tell me and this is your function so if you have one person number of hand sex will be zero right if you have one person then number of hand sex will be zero if you have two people then number of hand sex will be one if you have three people number of hand sex will be three now you notice now one thing you tell me if there are in this room already there are let's assume n people i don't know how many hand sex will be there i don't know i don't care i do not care let's assume in this room there are n people and let's assume there are fn hand sex let's assume i don't know what is this fn i don't know i do not i do not know what is fn so you tell me there are total n people in this room let's assume there are fn hand sex now one more person comes now one more person comes in this room now one more person comes in this room means now you have total n plus 1 people 
now you have total n plus one people are you getting my point see when there are n people let's assume f and handshakes are there when there are n people let's assume there are total f and handshakes total f and handshakes are there when you have n people in a room in this room there are n people this is your room okay now if one more person comes one more person enters one more person enters then you tell me already there are already 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 these people these people did the handshake with each other these people did they handshake with each other yes so will they will they handshake again these people they are handshaking with each other no so already before this before this new person came this new person before this new person came already f and handshakes will were there because of this one new person how many more will be there because of this one new person this new person will handshake with all of them this new person he will handshake with all of them he will handshake with all the n people he will handshake this new person will handshake with all the n people so these many handshakes will be there right simple isn't it simple that these many handshakes will be there very simple so this new person will handshake with all the remaining people so there will be total new i can say n new handshakes will be there these are the new handshakes so finally you are getting i can say when you have n plus 1 people when you have n plus 1 people then basically you are getting fn plus n these many handshakes okay so this is the recursively we got so we got this we got this that f n plus 1 f n plus 1 that is previous plus n okay please understand f of next f of next that is f of current plus n f of next f of next this is the next f of next that is f of current plus n so for example when you are here so for example when you are here then what is the next f of next will be f of current plus n so that will be 6 or you can understand like this that f of current that is f of previous plus n so if you think that this is the current if you think this is the current f of current that will be f of previous plus n so for example what will be f5 if you are here it will be f of previous plus n so that will be 10 so like this understood this is a good question but very simple question but very interesting this type of questions of course this type of questions will come in the gate exam of course this type of beautiful questions will come in the gate exam so ultimately what you got ultimately now you can find what will be number of handshakes when you have 10 people now you can find for example f10 you can easily find what will be f10 so what will be f10 if you notice if you notice what is fn that is basically fn minus 1 plus n minus 1 or i can say what is fn plus 1 okay so forget about this yeah this is actually correct it's not wrong this is also correct but let's see what is fn plus 1 let's see what is fn plus 1 that is basically fn plus n now can you open it can you open it can you open this fn fn is nothing but n f n minus 1 f previous plus n minus 1 and this n is already there and this n is already there okay can you open this also can you open this also it will be f of previous plus n minus 2 this is already there n minus 1 and this is already there if you do like this can you see something can you see what is happening n plus n plus 1 plus n plus 2 if you do like this ultimately if you get f1 if i get f1 then it will be like 1 plus 2 plus and so on n so if you notice f n plus 1 ultimately f n plus 1 will be this and this this is already zero if you continue like this if you continue like this then this will be zero 
So ultimately, what is f n plus one? Tell me what is f n plus one? That is the summation from one to n. And this is your favorite formula. The favorite formula n n plus one by two. This is your favorite formula, and you can now you can easily calculate anything. So remember f n plus one. That will be n n plus one by two. F n. So tell me what will be f ten? F ten means f nine plus one. So f n plus one. F n plus one. That will be n n plus one by two. So that will be forty five. You can check it out. Four f f four. F four means f three plus one. So that will be three into four divided by two. So that will be six. You can check it out. So this is the complete analysis of this question. So what will be f n if I ask you what will be f n? Tell me. So tell me what will be f n? That will be like you can simply write like this. That this is like n plus one. Sorry, n minus one plus one. N minus one plus one. Or you can simply say that it will be like n minus one and divided by two. Okay, is this point clear? Because remember, because remember, f n plus one is n n plus one by two. This is f n plus one. So from here you can see that f n will be this. This is the complete analysis of this question. Please tell me, did you understand? Let me know. This question, did you understand? This type of questions will be there in the weekly quiz of functions, okay? And this type of questions they come in the gate exam, TFR exam, in all the exams, in all the good exams, this type of questions will come. These are very simple questions, and these are very beautiful. When you solve this type of question, you will definitely find some some happiness, some satisfaction. You will find. Okay, is this question clear? Please tell me. The complete analysis of this question is that clear? We have seen the recursive definition. We have seen the formula. Everything.